Chichi. Hello folks, this is the third day of our stay here in Barcelona and we planned this day around the most famous landmark here which is the Sagrada Familia, a Roman Catholic minor basilica which when finished will be the tallest church building in the world. It was designed by Antoni Gaudi and construction started in 1882 and is still ongoing up to this day. Gaudi used the neo-gothic design so that the structure could be erected without the use of internal bracing or external buttressing which was a feature of medieval gothic cathedrals. This is Gaudi's expressionist vision of a modern cathedral where he embodied the many facets of Christianity physically to the building's interior and exterior. During the construction of this church, Gaudi became deeply religious and obsessed with its construction that the, he devoted the rest of his life and career to the construction of this church. And he even lived in its workshop, secluding himself from everything, and he even abandoned all of his other work to devote all of his time to this building. In 2026, the sixth and final central tower is expected to be finished and the tallest church building in the world will be considered complete. Now it's time to admire the building from the outside. We usually don't go inside buildings during our tour of a city. We just admire them from the outside so that we could cover more ground. But in this case, Sagrada Familia is considered a bucket list item. So we had to check out the interior as well. Now that we've seen it inside and out, 
we feel that we're part of history as well ongoing history if you will because it's still being constructed up to this day in 2023 We decided to get out of the compound and admire the building from a distance. Now we're looking at the back part of the church but it still looks nice. Usually the rear part of buildings don't look as grand as the front but Sagrada Familia is truly different. That's no moon. It's a space station. It's too big to be a space station. After visiting the Sagrada Familia, we were walking to the nearest metro station when we came across a small eatery where we could have a light snack. We explored the menu and finally decided on sharing a pasta dish and an omelette sandwich. Now we're on our way back to the hotel at La Rambla, but we had to drop by a special store that our son wants us to go to and show him through FaceTime all of the shoes it sells. Now we're back at La Rambla on our way to our hotel to rest and get ready to go back to La Boqueria one last time to have some food. After a delightful nap, we're on our way to the La Boqueria for dinner.
fucking tour to <laughs> After dinner, we just hung out in our room and got ready for our flight tomorrow. Barcelona is indeed a wonderful city and is another one that we will come back to someday. <laughs> 